1 John 2.16 of the NIV, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. And we're to come out from amongst the world and be separate. We are in the world, but not of the world. We're of a much higher kingdom, with much higher standard, and we must live accordingly, authentic representatives of Christ Jesus. Idleness leads to stagnation. Idle means not working active or being used, not having any real purpose or value, not having much activity. Proverbs 16.27 of the Living Bible, idle hands are the devil's workshop, idle lips are his mouthpiece. You better believe if you're not going to yield your members for the use of God, for his purpose and plan and his will. There is one who will use it and it's for your detriment, it's for destruction, it's for death. Because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come to give life, John 10, 10, and life more abundantly. Proverbs 19, 21 of the NIV. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. No wonder you have no real purpose of value because you have not tapped into the Lord's purpose and plan for your life. So you find yourself running after things that are meaningless, that are futile, that are void, that are empty. And you wonder why. Proverbs 20, 24, the NIV. A person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? How can anyone understand their own way? How we proceed with the living water. And let's find out what this living water is or who this living water is. John 7, 38-39 of the NIV. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. Is it possible that many of us not flowing, not flowing and experiencing the move of the Spirit in our everyday lives, in our churches, in our community, is because Jesus is not being glorified in our lives? We're supposed to be bringing glory to the Son, to glorify the Father, to bring forth His praise in all that we do, and yet we are empty, we are void, fruitless, and we have no real power. We have a form of godliness, but denying the power that can transform and change lives. John 15, 26, 27, and NIV, when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me, and you also must testify. For you have been with me from the beginning. You must also testify of the risen Savior who saved you. How dare you try to keep this treasure to yourself when we have a mandate to tell the world about the good news of Jesus, the Messiah. Now that we understand that one can never really flow in what is stagnant and the causes of stagnation, let us go back to Revelation 22, verses 1 and 2. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. This pure river signifies the Holy Spirit that should be flowing in us, through us, and in our lives. Clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Remember John 15, 26 and 27? When the advocate comes, whom I would send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who goes out from the Father, he would testify of me, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of a street, and on either side of the river, was the tree of life, Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. By their fruits, you will know them. The fruit you produce 
will tell on you. Strong concordance, compost in the Greek, properly fruit, is everything done in true partnership with Christ. A believer, a branch, lives in union with Christ the vine. By definition, fruit results from two life streams. The Lord living his life through ours to yield what is eternal. Character. You shall know them by their character. What character are you displaying? What fruit are you producing? By the way, John 15.5, the New King James Version. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. The vine, the branches that produces the character of Christ in your life. Couples, fruit. Results from two life streams. The Lord living his life through ours to yield what is eternal. Character of God. Everything done in true partnership with Christ. Are you displaying that in your life? Or are you simply displaying selfishness from the bad tree? Everything consumed by the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. The fruit you produce will tell on you. In conclusion, Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 to 21 in the NIV. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. Equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. Through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is a life lesson. No matter what you gotta keep pushing. Every day is a blessing. This is a life lesson No matter what you gotta keep pushing Every day is